Bonsai Bears 2.0, it's going to be pretty rough. It's going to be rough. The weather's supposed to be a little bit suspect, too. So. That's a big bear. Go. Get an Aaron. Just grateful that he's able to make a good shot. He went down quick. Oh, it's a bear of a lifetime. Yep, that's a big one. That's a big one. one. That's a big one. How you feeling? How I feeling? Yeah. Like I haven't slept in two days. <laughs> <laughs> I feel tired. <laughs> Nothing like starting a week-long trip on no sleep. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sorry I couldn't even sleep last night. <laughs> Bonsai Bears 2.0. Added Aaron this year to the hunting crew. Peyton obviously behind the lens is gonna film this, so. We've got our work cut out for us. We're gonna go an extra mm, 2,000 plus vertical this year. Try out a new spot on our way over the old spot. So it's gonna be pretty rough. It's gonna be rough. Weather's supposed to be a little bit suspect too. So should be interesting. I brought freaking 20 rounds of ammo just in case, boys. Good thing about it is we're all shooting 300 PRCs this year. Well, except for Not Tyler. Not everyone. Except for Tyler. He's got the trusty seven mag. We're gonna send it deep. We're going straight to Gobbler's Knob versus hitting, you know, the other spot that we won't say the name of. We yeah. brought Aaron along. We, we got a fourth gun this year, so that means we gotta go even harder than before. Mm -hmm. He's messing with his trekking pole right now. But, uh, I think there's going to be a dead bear tonight, and uh, I think if I'm going to prophesy, I think there's going to be something good happening tonight. We can stay low, lower, wrap around the back side of these cliffs here, and then come up this grassy side, or we come up, get our elevation, get on top of this ridge take it, but then you have to go through this rock slide. Well, you can catch the bottom probably. You, uh, that's what I was just going to ask. You think we can avoid that rock slide? You go right through the bottom of the rock slide and catch the ridge, but this is pretty cliffy in here too, so. That was an gnarly climb. I was like all fours, trekking poles to the side and digging into the earth. Um, yeah, I'm trying to find my neck gator so I freaking sweat doesn't get in my eyes. Can't see nothing. I'm so dang bald. <laughs> Go. We got a fresh bear turd, about as fresh as they come right there. It don't look like a big bear, but nonetheless, there's a bear right here. Could have jumped him, really. He's literally probably on the other side of this bed somewhere. Yeah. Almost guarantee it. Soaking wet with sweat now. A couple bedded coyotes over there, by the way, just in case you're wondering. But we're not gonna send it because we don't want to blow the bears out. But at any rate, we have gone. According to the base map tracker, 1.06 miles, 1,600 feet in elevation. Is that what you got? But I didn't start it until like 200 yards up the hill. 
So, yeah, 16, That's a climb. Got another 500 to go. But once we get there, it's side hill and kind of right where we're planning on camping. There's a big group of elk and uh, we don't want to just blow them out because the next canyon's where we're hoping all the bears are at. There's like 20 of them just staring at us on the knob. So hopefully they just slowly, gradually go away. Well, we finally made it to the top of Gobbler's Knob here and there's way, way, way more snow than there was last year. I'm looking at the spot Tyler shot his bear last year. And I can see where I pounded my bear too. Long ways over there. Uh, here's to hopefully finding bears. We climbed about 2,800 feet vertical. Tyler just checked it on base map. But you hope for a little more yellow flower, a little greener, but there's bears out. We've seen them, so. Same chocolate bear. We got a bear spotted. It's a stud bear. It looks like maybe perhaps that chocolate from last year. He's big. We're gonna get down here. Make sure that bipod's out here. You got a good. We're gonna hammer him here. He's about 445. Dude, that's a big bear. That's a nice bear. Here, he's got the Taylor spotted. He hit him. He's dead. He's dead. Okay. Dude, that was a perfect shot, man. Like, so good. So good. We've been here for like. It's a good bear, though. He looked like a stud to me. Yeah. I mean, he didn't look super long, but he's like, he's really stocky he's in there. He's hey, Taylor, what'd you think, bro? So cool. Aaron and Peyton in the gobbler's knob. <laughs> Dude, watch this shot. Ten minutes in the gobbler's knob and we got a dead bear. Bear down already. Ten minutes, bro. Bonsai bears 2.0 is already off to a good start. That's, I don't know how that bear stayed on his feet. That 212 hammered him. That's a really oh, nice that's bear. A that's a, it's a shitter all day. Dude, he's, I can't believe how fat he is for spring. For just coming out. He's just a it's just big. Dark chocolate, too. I like that. Oh, he's a piece of shooter every year. He's pretty. Every year. Dang. Thanks, guys. It's 115. That's crazy. Uh, Tyler and Taylor are going to set up camp and also keep hunting since we have four tags to fill. Eric, the trusty guy that's been here before, he's going to come with me. We're going to go get this bear. So we marked it on base map using nav cam, so we have right where made impact with it, so we're gonna go there first. And then he basically just rolled right under there, so here we go. He is, should be about 150, 275 yards from impact right here. But we saw him, endo, endo. So he's probably right here in the bottom right now, so. That's a great bear. Oh, dude. 
The bad thing about this is I get to pack them around for five more days. Oh my gosh. First animal with the new TS Customs 300 PRC. And man, it hammered this big bear. Hammered him, dead in seconds. <laughs> Just grateful that he's able to make a good shot and he went down quick. God, it's a bear of a lifetime. Yep, that's a big one. That's a big one. You always hope when you're hunting bear that you just make a really good shot. And I've been on both ends, so I'm really grateful to have made a perfect shot on this bear. He's a great bear. Well, Aaron just hammered a stud. Huge, huge bear. Those guys are glassing him up right there in the draw. Dude, that's a, that's a good bear. I'm happy for him, bro. On the way to recover this bear, Peyton found this nice six-point shed. He's gonna fill this at the end of the week. <laughs> well, we're gonna tag team uh, break down this bear and start here underneath the joint. Step here. So I'm gonna reciprocate what Eric's doing on this side. I'm gonna come down, hit the elbow, then I'm gonna meet up with Eric in the middle. And then we'll go straight down, and then we'll do back leg, and Eric will do that back leg. The hardest part on a bear is <laughs> the wrists and the back legs. Eric and Peyton and I got this massive bear skinned out. So I got a black Ovis meat bag here and uh, grabbed a big one. So it's good. Gonna get him in it. So uh, we got some bear meat here. We're gonna get this bear meat and bear back up to camp. We're gonna cook some bear meat tonight over the uh, campfire and put a little seasoning on it. Let's get going. All right, so we got it bear skinned out. Um, this is my first time using the Seek Outside Goshawk pack. So it's just a pull away frame and uh, uh, it's got a little meat shelf here, so we're gonna get her loaded and uh, get going. Got the bear. Eric took my rifle for me. And uh, Peyton and I just got done filtering water. Now we gotta climb out of this hole. Uh, it's really steep, it's not very far. But uh, very steep, so it's gonna take some time. What you got, P? Well, another shed over here. And Figure if I'm carrying one out, I might as well carry two. May as well. Broken. Would you kill that bull in this place? No. <laughs> Not a million years. How we doing, guy? Uh, we're doing good. <laughs> Taking a break on your knees. Yeah, my uh, uh just it's so it's so steep. It's not that far, but it's just straight up. And this is a big bear, so. Just giving my feet a little break. That's a great bear. <laughs> Believe me, he looked way bigger over there when he was on. But look at his head. I mean, geez. Yeah, man. That's got to be an 18 inch bear at least. Sweet big, bear. <laughs> big old paw. Yeah. All right, so we brought two different tents for this hunt. We brought a teepee, a uh, red cliff light from Seek Outside. Um, Tyler and Taylor already set that up. We're also gonna set up the Silex. And because of just how nasty the slope is on this country, um, the teepee's probably only gonna fit three to four. So we're gonna set this up the Silex for one other person, so. All right, so we went to about five different spots looking for somewhere flat. Ain't nothing flat about this place. There ain't even one spot that's flat. So this was about the best we thought we could do. Um, super rocky, we couldn't even get the stakes in the ground. But it's the best, best we're gonna do tonight, so 
the teepee's on a real steep incline. Just it's the best we're gonna do tonight. So one guy's gotta go here, four in the teepee, and then it's just we're gonna have to make do. What'd you think of day one? Day one was awesome. Killed a big bear. So we're off to a good start. Hopefully we can find a few in the morning. At least another one. Okay. Huh? Day one, uh, pretty epic. I mean, that exceeded my expectations, I think. Just getting up here and finding some bears was the goal, and we got a big one killed in the first 10 minutes. So pretty awesome to have it back at camp. And we got a rad camp set up right now. So tomorrow I'm thinking we'll go all the way up top nope. and then head up a little bit farther. Okay. One hammer bear down, a couple to go. It's a good day, good day one. So hopefully we don't get blown off the mountain. up here on the top of the ridge. I thought we were on the, on the back side of the ridge just enough that it kind of just like go kind of over the top of us, but we got hammered. The tent was almost blown over. And then it started raining and snowing. In the meantime, I'm going to look for snowler bears up there. For polar bears. Why don't snowler you, bears. Why don't you go glass off the back side? <laughs> Is that the day with this field? Smaller bears. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I'm not tired waking me up last night. Dude, I'm going over there. I'm like, dude, just stay there. <laughs> He's like, no, dude, dude, just look at me. I'm soaked. I'm gonna do his back. I'm soaked. <laughs> so. <laughs> what was the tip doing to your face? You know, I feel this is the experience. <laughs> about what it sounded like <laughs> in my head. I didn't realize your back got soaked. My face was just <laughs> sopping wet <laughs> from the dead. Just range the bear are 1400 yards away and we can cut the distance to 500 there's a big ridge we can get to that's 900 yards from here so we got to drop clear down where Aaron shot his bear climb back up um, and then we'll be within shooting range so hopefully he'll stay out long enough he's on a pretty fairly open hillside so um, hopefully we'll be able to get over there in time should take us half hour, probably, maybe 45 minutes to get up there, get a shot. Taylor and Tyler and Aaron are headed to go try to find that bear. It dropped into the purple bear brush and disappeared, so hopefully they get over there and have more luck than I can, keep an eyes on it. In the meantime, we're gonna keep watching for their bear and try to find one for potentially me, and then me and Peyton will go after that one, so get them, Tay. Your 
bubble level. Wait for it to stop. I'm ready. High. You were high. Okay, I'm on him. Okay, I'm on him. He's going down, straight down. Stopped. He's right under that tree. Yeah, I'm on him. Whatever. Way high. First shot was like just over his back. And then the second one, I was like, he was on the move. So I was like free handing the spotting scope, keeping the phone scope on him. And I was on him, but when he shot, you're like, you know, the blast from the gun shook me off of him. So I couldn't tell, but we can watch the footage and see if we can see anything. Cut over here, glass from blood. I haven't seen any blood. There's some rocks down there. Nothing, so it looked like he just ran right up the draw. We reviewed the footage, and uh, it looks like he gave him a haircut on the first one. Just hit, like, just barely caught hair. And then the second one, you can't really see, but it sounded like, uh, by listening to the shot, like it hit a rock, so pretty sure it was a clean miss. And we don't see anything, so. We're regrouping and making a new game plan now. How are we feeling today? Not good, man. Not good? No, why? Sucks when you miss, dude. That's why. <laughs> Work your butt off, dude. The freaking sling went over there, right over his back. Brutal. Man, only get one chance. That could have been it. ridge once we get over there and uh, tell them what you're really gonna do <laughs> there's a shed over there I'm gonna go pick up <laughs> but we gotta go that way anyways and we gotta get water those are his intentions all day just kidding oh yeah we gotta get water yeah gotta get water too so Shed. I guess it's cool. I just have to carry it though. Unless I don't want to and then I can drop it. Bro. Dude. Shed again, bro. Dude, that's a sick shed. Freaking a mile, thousand feet for, for this baby. Shed for two days. Finally had a chance to come pick it up. <laughs> Stoked. <laughs> bladed. bladed out. Yeah. Look, at, look at that. So bladed. It's got a little brown left on it. Uh, definitely a little, <laughs> little 
some gold brown right there. So what'd you guys see? A couple misses. <laughs> How far were you a long ways? No. 400. 375. Yeah. You shoot over? It just hair touched the hair. You can see it. First shot. The hair. Yeah. Hold out second. It was kind of just a fling as he was leaving there. But you guys obviously thought you hit him or you went over there? We just weren't sure because the phone scope. He was trying to do it freehand. So we went over to look. Not, did it sound, do you think you, did it sound like you hit him? On the video, Tyler put it back on his on the video on his phone, and he thought it, he heard like rock. It sounded it was, like, like oh, real loud, like, been, like maybe it was a rock. But he like, could have. But I'm like, I was just like going to the bushes, going to the bushes, going to the bushes, because mm -hmm. we never saw him come out. I mean, we saw him the whole time. We threw rocks down it. Oh, he did. Bushes. It was in the bushes. I thought he was dead or a doorknob right in there. I'm just like he's. Dead. I thought maybe he did. So at first. I saw you guys point your trekking poles across there. I'm like, you guys are right on it. You guys went to the exact spot he went in. Right. I, oh, I had his phone scope, and I knew exactly where he went, right? So I went to that. Well, when he took off running, he like he either slipped on the scree or he was, like, hurt. Like yeah. his, He looked like his, he like, peeled out. Like, like his dirty. legs were kind of hurt, and he was, like, That's oh, what I thought I saw. And too. then he went into the brush, and I couldn't tell if he, like, fell down right there. So I was like, well, we got to go check. Never came out. Hmm. Never he, came out. He could have went up the bottom of that canyon. Could have, or could have came down the bottom. Of, who knows? Yeah, we could have gone straight down too. We could be totally wrong, but he was kind of doing the same thing, kind of like Aaron's. Like he just, I'm like, is he even hit? And then all of a sudden, that was it. That's kind of what I saw with him. Was like, if you want, he's like, dove in the brush, and that was it. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Hmm. You see any other we bears? See, huh? Any other bears? There's one right here by your tent. Yeah, you guys, there's a bear right under you. Right now. He might be like within a couple hundred yards. Not very big, no. He's, but he's right here, man. Oh, really? Yeah. Freaking. Taylor spotted him down by the river. And we blink. He's clear up to camp. <laughs> yeah. Well, just a tiny sucker? Man, he stands up and we're like, that's either a black coyote <laughs> or a really small bear. So like an 80 pounder, 50 pounder. <laughs> Legit one-hander. <laughs> Legit one You can glass him up. He's right here, dude. Could you see him right here? I'm sure you could. He's, he's, just, he's coming this way hard. Yeah. He's, I mean, he's close. Yeah. That's probably that cub from last year. sleep last night uh not so great up about every 10 minutes i uh i got the bottom part over here it's pretty steep <coughs> <coughs> so i was just fighting to stay stay on over here i slept much better than last night it was a good night except for when the snow came, I I used this guy out to keep the tent off me, but when the snow came, it accumulated right here, so it was like laying on my face. <laughs> but then I just had to push all that snow off, and then we're back to gold, so it was, it, a good, it was a good night. The snow's right there on his rifle. Hey, that's way better, though. Way better. Way better. Hey, snow the bears aren't out yet. <laughs> There's no little bears today. I slept good in case you guys are wondering. <laughs> Even the ticks were frozen inside of our tent when we woke up. We got a bear back strap here. I don't want to carry it around the whole trip, so. Plus, we're hungry. So, we're gonna cut some of this meat up, put it on the old roaster, and uh, put some seasoning on it. What for breakfast? I was mostly just saying that to you, not to the camera. Oh, it's for the camera now. <laughs> Ty brought some seasoning salt. Get a seasoning. 
Oh, you got the rotisserie going. Yeah. Heck yeah. More, more. Can't oh. have too much, bud. No. Nice and well done. That's good. Really good. Is it done? Mm-hmm. It's pretty good, buds. It's good. Bear me was a big hit, so we're gonna cut some more up. Get eating this. Bonsai Bears 2.0. Snack of the trip right here. Yummy. Good stuff right here. This is worth the extra weight to pack in here. Hit the glass. We've been glassing for the last two, three hours. Pretty steady. Haven't seen any bears yet. So I think it's about time to make a game plan of when we're going to pack up and head out of here and go to the next drainage. My vote is around two or two o'clock, three at the very latest. If we don't turn up this bear up by then, we need to bounce, go somewhere else, get camp set up at the new spot because it's supposed to rain. We need a good spot to camp because we might be in the tent all day tomorrow. So. Aaron's only three feet tall. Oh my gosh. Here's <laughs> a short dude. Yeah, he's a little good. I like these big ledges though. Why do, why do you have it so short? Mine? Yeah, I thought it was over it by that point. We, are, we were dipping around on those ones for a while. <laughs> by the time I got here, dude, it was like, you get what you get. <laughs> These don't throw fins. That's why there's four, not five. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sucked. These kind of sleeping conditions where Tylenol PM and NyQuil come in. That's the only way you sleep. Jeez. We're uh, about to change drainages. The weather's supposed to get nasty here tonight, so we're going to go to a better camp spot. Um, we're not seeing much in this drainage, so. We're about to take off, but I'm about to uh, pay for the pay for shooting a bear. <sighs> 50, 60 pounds. Um, Got to carry it to the next camp spot. So, yeah, the consequences is shooting a big bear. Got to pack it around. Garden. Here we go. Spree Garden blows. Yeah, try to focus on not creating a rock slide and slipping and falling. So, I just feel bad for Aaron behind me. He's got 60 more pounds than I do. So, pray everyone's safe here. Taylor and I made it through the street yard. I feel bad for Aaron. Those rocks start going with a 100 pound pack. That's a nightmare, nightmare. Even Taylor and I hit the dirt a couple times. Well, the rocks. Taylor busted his pole, let's see that. Taylor broke his pole. It's easy to break these because they get wedged in the rocks. Oh no. God. Just sheared it right off clean. Pray that the rest of the crew makes it through safe. Aaron. We made it, boys. Made it. Across the Scree <laughs> Garden. Where are we? Uh... Was it as advertised, Peyton? The second half, yeah. The second half. The Here's horrible. The killer. He's probably feeling good. There he is. There's the bear killer. I wonder how he's doing. 
killed a giant. He deserves all the pain. Was the scree garden as advertised? Oh, uh, yeah, that sucked. I know what they do in Hill. They just cross freaking scree fields all day. <laughs> Gosh, that was bad. You made it, though. Yeah, I made it. But, yeah, that sucked bad. So we just got to our new camp spot, um, way flatter than the other place. Yeah, way flatter than the other place. Um, so we just got the Seek Outside Red Cliff set up, and uh, we're gonna set up the one man for either gear or somebody else and get going. We've had like hurricane wind gusts, like 50, 60 miles an hour. It's been crazy, so. Anyway, our last spot had, it was really rocky, and so one of the stakes broke. So I'm gonna use my goat knife here. I just pulled the blade off. And I'm gonna use that as a stake. Done, had to do this a couple times before. Anchor this side down over here. Now she's not gonna blow away, but. Those goat knives are tough suckers. Use them for a lot of things. This is Muley Freak Ingenuity right here. That's what this is supposed to look like. A flat spot. All right, so it's looking like we're gonna have hurricane force winds again. So we got a couple extra lines tied off to the seek tonight so we don't blow away. What you eating, bud? Oh, we got some beef strong enough here. Here, let me show you a picture. It's yummy. 810 calories. Oh, I ripped off the protein, but I think this one has 49 Seven grams. Back. Oh, it thanks, Ty. <laughs> 41 grams of protein. It's good. Aaron, what are you having? Sweet mm. pork and rice. Sweet pork. We've got uh, two servings per container, 17 grams of fat, 40 grams of protein, 800 calories. Not bad. Gosh, What's Taylor got? Same as Aaron. Sweet pork and rice. Sweet pork and rice. That's good. Peyton? <laughs> sweet pork and rice, I guess. Oh, phew. It's a that sweet pork a and rice night. I almost did that, but I didn't. I went with I have mine all stuck the trusty day, so. What's your take chicken teriyaki and rice. My go-to fave. Yeah. Rough wow. night. Not many bears today, huh? Zero? zero. <laughs> as in zero? Um, Shoot, if I'd have seen that cubby, I'd yeah. be in trouble. <laughs> I thought about hiking down there. Yeah, it was rough. We moved camp, went through the scree field. We've got a much better camping spot, which is yeah. a plus. That's all. That's all, Peyton. That's all I got. Nothing, nothing else. <laughs> you, get, you can edit that later. That bad. <laughs> this isn't fun. You, you hit yourself? Yeah, we came to the tent. His whole stake and broke off, snapped off. He was about gone. Yeah. Taylor went out and manned the outside, restaked the stakes that were coming out. Eric and I held the pole. Tyler got soaking wet. I filmed it. <laughs> Tyler got soaking wet. I'm so good. No rain cares. That was a bad choice. That was a bad choice. <laughs> Who, I just didn't think it was going to do this for two days. You know what I mean? Like, we, we you know had what else is a bad choice? Not bringing this liner. Yeah, that liner would have been nice. We wouldn't be wet right now. How much <laughs> extra weight was that liner? <laughs> how, Let's how not talk room, about it. How much room does it take? That's a different story, but. Yeah, it takes up more space. But wait, it weighs nothing. Taylor, do you need some bleed stopper? <laughs> I don't think it's some quick clot. 
Uh, it, it looks swole like. You want me to put a tourniquet on it? Vessel or something. Put a tourniquet on your neck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, blood flow to the brain? <laughs> Ooh, this one's getting dangerous over there, man. Looks so. like you guys stayed a little drier over there. <laughs> Good choice. I guess so. Because it was coming this way, like the whole tent was. Oh, is that why the is that why the top of the pole is over here? Yeah, dude, it was freaking streaming that way. Dude, that, there was one time I I had to fix your trekking pole out there. It was ripped out of the ground. I didn't think we were oh, gonna be able to hold this. I thought it was gonna break regardless. Yeah, I did too. Oh, just the wind needs to stop, dude. After the chaotic morning, we spent most of the day in and out of the tent glassing when we were able. We capitalized on one particular small break in the weather and dropped down to filter some water before more weather moved back in. We spent much of the day charging phones, scouting, and making game plans on base map, and of course, eating lots of snacks. Well, back in the tent again for the fourth time today. <laughs> Our super buds are here. Oh. Thanks, bud. What happened there, guy? What happened there, guy? Tortilla <laughs> broke. Gave way. Failed, all the, huh? From all the hiking I did today. <laughs> gave way, it collapsed. Let me see your shiner there. <laughs> 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 stuck, stuck his head under Peyton's tent to grab a snack and got freaking lit up. <laughs> That's what happens when you try to help Peyton. <laughs> Punt, he hit me. <laughs> I thought it was an intruder. <laughs> Feels great. Feels great. Feels awesome. Next time I'm going to let your tent blow down the hill. <laughs> All right, we're getting a little update, or a little break in the weather, so we're gonna split up. We got two tags, head that way. Me, Peyton, and Aaron are gonna head that way. See if we can't divide and conquer. We only got a few days left, two and a half days to be exact, so we gotta find a fair ASAP. Feels like winter up here, so we're just gonna have to do our best to grind out a couple more bears, huh? Jeez. Yeah, seems impossible right now. Just takes one. It could happen any minute. As we headed our separate ways, we were determined to glass up new bears. Tyler and Taylor left for higher country and were met with a nice little snowstorm. We also dealt with the same weather at lower elevations, so we decided to light a fire and then shift our focus to turning up a bear. Peyton came over here to, I don't know, explore or something. And that bear crap that we saw on the way up, sure enough, there's a bear. I don't know how big it is, but we'll find out. Uh, I think if Taylor was here, I'd freaking make Taylor shoot it. I don't think it's a bear I want to shoot, but. I spotted my first bear, I'm not such a loser. Uh, he's way up there though, that's kind of a scary place. That would suck to send it to the top of that. Might come out there. At least we got a reason to stay here now. <laughs> All right, that bear finally popped back out. He's a good bear. We're just trying to figure out how we can make a play on him tomorrow. We got a little bit of phone scope of him, but he's a long ways away. He'd be... You definitely want three people to go after him, too. All right, I'm just going to set a remote marker on this big bear and potentially get a game plan for tomorrow. We are going to make a plan tomorrow to kill this big bear and then kill um, one of those other bears. 
I always wanted to see. If you always want to see what it's like from both angles, here you go. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to try to go after those two bears in the morning. May hopefully find the bigger one of those two. A red one showed up tonight, dark red. Maybe Taylor kill him, Tyler kill the black one over there. And then someone, Peyton or Aaron or Aaron and Taylor, helped me go over here. We'll just see how it shakes out. But either way, we're going to have to send it deep for this one over here, this big one. So <sighs> it's going to be be rough. It's going to take a lot of water. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. Taylor sniffed some megawatt this morning, so he flew out of the tent. All I heard was snacks just flying everywhere. <laughs> um, he went over and spotted my bear. This morning, we're gonna go make a play on him. It's actually in a little better spot. So, me, Peyton, and Aaron have our work cut out for us, and these two are gonna watch for these boulder bears down low, and hopefully, either one, two, three him, or shoot one and wait for another one to come out, because I think it's only a matter of time until those two show up today. There's a carcass down there, so. That's the plan, guys. Low, low country yeah. bears and high country bears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> same day. So. Good luck, boys. Yeah, good, right. luck. good luck. Good luck. Yeah, thanks, guys. Black wad I just saw move through. Bear just came out. We gotta hurry and get a shot at her. She's right there. All right, she's about 900 yards. I'd like to get closer. Let's see if we can't hit up that middle spine and get closer. Our plan of cutting the bear off had almost worked out perfectly, so we sat and waited for him to reappear. Meanwhile, Tyler and Taylor's plan on the other side of the mountain started to come to fruition. All right, man, we just spotted uh, one of the two bears down here. He's working his way towards us, so we're gonna try to side hill down here and get in a little better position to shoot this thing. If he keeps coming the way he's coming, it shouldn't shouldn't be a very far shot, a couple hundred yards maybe, max. Um, yeah, let's do this, man. Let's go get one. Come on. You on him? Rock solid? Take him to Pound Town whenever you want. So Taylor just shot his bear. We were waiting to see if that black bear fed out and it didn't. So we started heading up the hill. We got almost, well, close to the top again and then looked back and that bear just popped out of that den. So we're moving back down to see if we can get a shot. We might double up here. It's working out just according to plan. Yeah, she's right on top. Same spot, just like 15 seconds ago. Perfect. I'm on him. He's dead. 
Yeah. The A team comes in clutch <laughs> at the end. Woo! <laughs> Dude, she was a long haul this trip, man. Oh my gosh. Two and a half days of nothing. Seriously, we went. We had a little cold streak there in the middle, and we did, yeah, we didn't think we were gonna get it done. There just weren't any bears out and about, but the last two days have been pretty nice, and so the bears have been out, and we killed two of them. I want to say that was perfect wordage. Cold streak. <laughs> Not only was the bear hunt cold, <laughs> but the weather was brutal cold. Uh, I guess it was. Now uh, we're gonna go retrieve two bears. We have a very long day, so we're gonna go get to work, get these cut up, and pack them down. Yes. Tyler and I decided we want to try to double up this morning. Eric found another bear on the other side. Spotted this one first, so we decided to make a play, came down the ridge and uh, shot this one at 680. And man, I couldn't be happier for a bear. We have put in a grueling six days. Snow, hell, 50 mile an hour winds, tents about blowing over. So this was a hard earned bear and I'm super excited about it and can't wait to go see Tyler's. We got Taylor's bear cut up in the game bag right there. And we're heading down the hill. It's literally 200 yards to my bear. So freaking awesome. Though, so man. close. Well, just got to my bear, got him pulled out, and uh, and he's nice. I, first time I had one, it's got that white patch on the chest, pretty cool. For me and Taylor to double up on the second to last day is pretty, pretty unbelievable. Cool bear, awesome trip. Um, we look forward to this trip every year, and it's so fun to get up here and just be in the, in the back country living the adventurous life man the, the weather is miserable this trip um but we stuck it out and grinded and and it paid off so we're gonna pack these up to camp and we're gonna be out of here tomorrow i couldn't be happier for tyler and taylor it's awesome seeing others succeed while they suffered their way back to camp we weren't as fortunate on the other side of the mountain. We glassed, hiked, and looked for that bear, but he never presented himself again. We rendezvoused back at camp to share our successes and our failures around the warm campfire. Swapping stories around a campfire is one of the many highlights of adventure hunting. Sure, I was bummed I fell short of my goal of tagging a big bear, but being able to fill three of our four permits was incredible considering the weather and circumstances. I strive to push myself to new limits every year, and I look forward to returning and bonsaiing off steep ridges in remote places after spring bear. Well, Bonsai Bear 2.0, she's a wrap. Three bears, four tags, one giant, and plenty of adventure in terms of weather and <laughs> weather and rain. This is the first good day we've had, and it's time to go home. I made it, I changed my thoughts. No switching, I take that off. They've been itching to hear my loss, but look at my loss when I turn to the lessons. Confession, my call is in question. You wouldn't offer a message when you know the author's suggestions. I want it all. Yeah, the they fall. I had a like the law. We had to switch up the ways, was lost and afraid. The villain was right at the door. The bad so thing about this is that you to pass them around for around. five more days. I'm gonna fill this at the end of the week. Yeah. <laughs> Pack him down. This one at 680. Well, just got to my bear. Got him pulled out. First time I had one, just got that white patch on the chest. First animal with the new TS customs. 300 PRC. It, it hammered this big bear. By the time we get up on him, though, he'll be pissed off and he'll bite one of us. Not this year. Yeah, I guess it's a little lighter than a bear. Bonsai Bears 2.0. It's gonna be pretty rough. It's gonna be rough. The weather's supposed to be a little bit suspect too. So. Dude, that's a big bear. Get an 
just grateful that he was able to make a good shot and he went down quick. God, it's a bear of a lifetime. That's a big one. That's a big one. <laughs>